I'm actually really scared to film this. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? I hope you're doing really well. For today's video, I am... I'm scared. I'm scared. My hair looks busted. Recently, I've kind of been doing a bit of like soul searching. Hate that. Hate that term. But I've been doing like a bit of soul searching and I am removing myself from the body positive community well i am i wouldn't i'm not a massive staple in the body positive community but i am definitely there i'm removing myself i'm on like a wavelength of active change at the minute so i am actually going to be trying to lose some weight and this is something that is very taboo in the body positive kind of community um, losing weight and the body positivity community kind of don't really go together. Uh, diet culture, I am not imbibing in. Diet culture and me also don't get along. I am literally going to just be eating healthy and um, on a calorie deficit. Not a stupid one. Um, I'm not really going to talk too much about the numbers because I don't want to trigger people because I also have an eating disorder. So this is something that's going to be quite tricky for me, but it's also something that I think I definitely desperately need to do. So I'm going to kind of talk you through like my thought process on it and um, <clears throat> why I'm scared. <laughs> so basically for a couple of months I've removed myself from posting like body positive things on Instagram and on here because I haven't been feeling my best about my body and I feel like it's really fake for me to come on here and say oh love yourself love your body love this love that when I don't feel it myself that's the first thing I've kind of been a bit um hit and miss with my body and some days I've loved it and some days I've absolutely hated it so I haven't decided I haven't decided to post anything because I've been worried um about my own body so I don't want to like fake it for other people I just think that's really like shit so I haven't done that and I know a lot of people have kind of noticed on my Instagram I've had like quite a few messages like come on you need to post some body positive stuff girl you make us feel great and I'm really grateful that like you look to me for like positive influence on your body and things like that and I 100% will still be posting um about self-love <coughs> my earring you man that's what happens when you've got stretched ears i will 100 percent still be posting about self-love and loving yourself and how to learn to love yourself but i will not be posting about being body positive anymore because um i think body positivity doesn't really have space for weight loss if that makes sense like it is about lo loving yourself at um, a bigger size that you are and at the moment i really don't love myself at the size that i am so that's my first point of call please don't attack me i'm genuinely scared about this fucking video i have a good relationship with myself and knowing when i'm not okay i notice the smaller changes in myself so i can kind of take a step back from instagram and things like that when i'm not feeling my best so that's the first thing i'm just coming away from the body positive side of things Obviously still going to be friends with all my body positive friends. I'm not, like, I don't want to speak to any of you ever. Like, no, none of that. I'm just saying I'm coming away from the body positive side of my YouTube and my Instagram, okay? I'm still going to be posting plus size hauls because I am still plus size. I do love fashion. Fashion's like one of my favourite things. And um, I will be still be posting about loving yourself because I do love myself. I love aspects of myself, just at the moment I'm not happy with my weight and size. And I think that's something to take a note of. You don't always have to be happy the way you are. Um, but loving yourself is a big thing. Don't mistreat your body because you don't like it. Do you know what I mean? There's another part of it that actually I have been um and ah about for a really long time. And I've spoken to a few of my friends and I've spoken to John and they've all been like mate if you want to do this just do it there's no re you shouldn't not do it because of uh social media which i get i 100 percent get so um from a young age i have always had big boobs i got my boobs in year five 
I had like C cups in year six. I've had big boobs all of my life and they cause me so much pain. I'm now at a 36 to 38 G double G and they just kill me. <laughs> my posture is awful because they drag me forward so my back is always like Ugh. and everything like that. And I've been to the doctor and the doctor basically said to me, use some weight um, and it doesn't come off your boobs then we can do something about that. But because you haven't tried to lose any weight, uh, your boobs are still gonna be huge. Um, and we can't really do that because, you know, it doesn't really, you need to try before we go straight to surgery, basically. So that's another thing. I'm gonna be, hopefully, having my boobs reduced either by weight loss or through surgery, but I have to try and lose some weight first before they will consider the surgery. So if they go on their own, great. If not, then I can have surgery, but I need to have tried to lose weight first. So that's another reason. And then like the third and final reason is actually my health. I have endometriosis myself and I've spoken to doctors and nurses and gynecologists and friends who have it. And a lot of them have said that extra weight can hinder the pain so like it can cause more pain because of something to do with the like pressure and the heaviness of your weight and so it to do with your ovaries i'm not too clued up on it but i also know that like it's if i can reduce the pain and do something to make my insides a little bit more healthier that's what i'm gonna do i don't i'm not gonna sit and be in agony because it makes people like because i'm posted about body positivity before um but i'm not gonna sit and be in pain do you know what i mean like i am um, my periods are slowly getting worse as i'm putting on weight and um, that's like a correlation that i have noticed myself so that's something i'm going to try and change so it is also for health reasons and another reason so in my family we have a lot of like health conditions high blood pressure is a massive one um strokes heart attacks heart disease is another huge one um diabetes is another massive one um heart arrhythmias uh parkinson's cancers we've we've we are like a family that's got the lottery of medical diseases and, and illnesses it's unfortunately like been the cause of death of a lot of my family members um so we have like a lot of sort of health problems within the family and I'm gonna get one of them do you know what I mean statistically I'm gonna get one of them I already have endometriosis hopefully that's my lot but I, I, I don't know so looking at it more like my grandfather my grandpa has a lot of problems with his heart at the moment um my nan has high blood pressure my dad has high blood pressure my dad's had a stroke there's a lot going on in my family so I want to eliminate that risk so that's like the main thing about it I want to lose weight because I don't like myself at the minute and I'm struggling with like body confidence. I'm still going to be posting about self-love and body confidence when I feel it, but I am not going to be posting about body positivity because body positivity and weight loss are kind of not in the same community. I also want to do it for my endometriosis, for my pain, for a boob reduction and for just having an overall better healthy lifestyle so I don't die young, hopefully. Do you know what I mean? So there are like five good reasons I think as to why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it just for vanity reasons. Reasons I'm doing it because it needs to be done. I'm also asking you guys if you want to see me document it. So I'm going to document it for myself because I want to and that's that's me. That's what I want to do but I don't know whether you want me to document it on my youtube channel i don't know whether you want to follow along on this journey with me or whether you'd rather i just kept it to myself um because i'm gonna record it for me and edit it for me and keep it for me but i don't know if you want to see it too i am a huge believer in not doing fad diets so i am not buying into diet culture i am literally going to be on a calorie deficit now i'm going to tell you my calorie deficit because i don't want people to think that i'm going to the extreme to, to maintain my weight now, I would need to be eating around 2,300 calories a day. Um, so I am taking 500 calories off that and I'm going to be eating 1,700 calories a day. And I'm going to incorporate some exercises, just like doing my steps. I've got my fat bet. And I'm going to be just doing 
small amounts each day and just taking it as it comes i'm starting a food diary and um john is going to be very much in charge of me in a sense of how i'm getting on because i do have an eating disorder and those tendencies can come through so john is very much in charge i'm gonna if anything kind of if because he what he knows me inside out he's with me 24 hours a day he knows that when something's up so he is going to keep a watchful eye on me he is going to make sure that i'm not taking it to any extremes and um if i do he said that he will stop me doing it and um he'll help help me get back on track again which is great i'm really lucky to have john so that is what i'm going to be doing but do you want me to document it for you to see do you want to see like my food shop i actually need to go pick up a food shop today with like loads of snacks and i haven't gone like ridiculous like i've still bought a load of snacks um i've bought like skips snaps fiber one bars ben and jerry's like all things that are just on the lower calorie side of things but are still banging food um so i've bought a load of things like that i need to go pick up today and i've just done i'm just doing small amounts if that makes sense like i'm doing it slowly i know i'm not going to get a result overnight and that's perfectly fine with me but i just wanted to let you know that that was the plan so if you want me to document it let me know um i was thinking like doing like food shops meal ideas that i'm eating uh what i eat in a day spend the week with me work out like what my morning routine would be well now i'm eating obviously i wouldn't include calories on the video would just leave things in the description box because the last thing i want to do is trigger anybody um but that is my idea that's what's going to be happening from now on and i'm genuinely so excited like i never thought i'd be excited to um start a journey like this and i'm excited to hopefully watch my boobies shrink <laughs> but yeah so that is the end of this video please be kind and respectful in the comments because i will just delete you and block you because i just can't be asked with the negativity there's um a lot of negativity around weight loss as it is but i think if it's done healthily and you know if it's done properly it's okay um some of you may agree some of you may disagree i may lose subscribers for this i may lose followers that's absolutely fine but just know that i'm not doing this uh because I just feel like it. I'm doing it because I have five very good reasons to do it. And um, yeah, so that's just like an update. Uh, let me know what you want to see down below. please. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon for another video very soon. Uh, probably next one's probably going to be a haul, methinks. So yeah, bye guys.